All right, fellas, big meeting today. We need ideas. Fan Favorite Friday is down. The views are down. The viewership is down. The subs are down. We need to get something that gets the people motivated, that gets the people excited. What do you got for us, Frankie? Yeah, boss, why don't you play some big combo deck? Maybe use a bunch of stage twos, a lot of different special energy, and just kind of mash it all together. With all due respect, Frankie, that idea sucks. James, what's up? Well, I've been thinking about this for a long time, boss. What if we did a Cradilly Omastar Kabutops lock deck? James, I frankly cannot believe that that was brought up here in this meeting today. You're fired. Anyone else? Yeah, I got one. Who are you? Felix. Felix the cat. Yo, I got a deck idea that'll blow the rest of those ideas out of the water. Give him four Guzzlord and 56 energy. By God. I think he's done it. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We've got an exciting one for you here. This is one of the most complex decks that I think we'll ever cover on the channel. Um, oh, it doesn't look like I have expanded this deck. Let me show you what is in our list. Oh, uh, uh, just a single line and two different varieties of cards. Thank you so much to Felix the Cat for suggesting this idea for our Fan Favorite Friday deck today. Fan Favorite Friday, every single week, we do a recurring series where we play a deck as chosen by you, the viewer. So leave your comment down below of what deck you want to see me play for next week's video. And if that comment gets the most likes, the most thumbs up here on YouTube, then we will play it on next week's video. It's as simple as that. So this is the suggestion that won, <laughs> for better or for worse, last week. And uh, here we are playing it. So Guzzlord GX here is an Ultra Beast with 210 HP. It's crazy how high HP is now. Looking back at this Guzzlord GX, I remember thinking, hey, 210, that's very reasonable. You know, you can do a lot of things with 210 hit points. You might even be able to withstand an attack or two. Uh, think again with these next few games. Eat Sloppily is the first attack. We're going to try to go second so that we can eat Sloppily on our first turn. Discard the top five cards of your deck if any of those cards are energy cards attached to this Pokemon. Well, newsflash, guys, we only have four Pokemon and 56 energy. So you know what? Eat Sloppily is going to be very successful most of the time. Tyrannical Hole is that second attack, 180 base damage, but... Glutton GX is the GX attack that we're going to try to get off here in these games. 100 damage, and if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, take two more prize cards. So ideally, we would want to Glutton GX to take the prizes on a, you know, three prize Pokemon. We would take, you know, five prizes. Math is hard sometimes in my old brain here. Uh, take our five prizes and then figure out how to take that last one. But it's going to be quite the challenge because... We got no search, we got no energy acceleration, we got no draw, we really got nothing going for us other than Eat Sloppily is going to be successful like 95% of the time. And you know what? It makes for a fun little meme deck. If you've enjoyed the content so far, please make sure to subscribe. Or if you get into the games and you're like, hey, I really enjoy the way that this guy, you know, presents Pokemon TCG content. Well, then go ahead and give me a subscribe later. But don't forget. Also, like the video and leave your comment down below on your deck that you want to see for next Friday's video. Or leave a like on somebody else's post because I'm sure it would make them feel good, gives them a little notification. And hey, who knows, it might be the winning list. So yeah, let's make sure that we support our fellow Lil Flexers that comment down below. So let's get into some of these games here with Guzzlord GX. If we can get a win with this, that will be perhaps the greatest victory in Fan Favorite Friday history. Thank you guys all so much for joining me on this journey. Hope you're enjoying your time aboard Starship Earth. And what do you know? We start with the boy himself. Okay. So, 
Not a lot to really go over here. Deck, very simple. Three attacks. First attack powers up the second two attacks. You get the idea. We're going to try to make it work, though, because I am a firm believer of holding true to my word. A wise man once said, if you cannot keep your word, you have nothing. And I'm sure I'm misquoting that wise man. And frankly, I don't even know who that wise man is. But the sentiment holds true. Ah, yes, a nice Garchomp and Giratina deck. Okay. We're going to need to eat sloppily. We're going to need this thing to not attack this turn. That's actually going to be critical um, because we need to eat. I was going to say because we need to eat sloppily uh, and then survive, you know, next next turn. But we'll eat sloppily. Give me them energies. Bruh, bruh, bruh. We discarded two Guzzlords. <laughs> You're telling me in my 60 card deck that <laughs> two of the top five were Gus Lords. <laughs> okay, this is a win in my book. This is a win in my book, bro. <laughs> Send me. <laughs> Send me. Erase me, please. Erase me, please. All right, GG. It's for the ELO. It's for the ELO. We try to tank the ELO with these decks, give them a few games, you know, make our opponents think that, I don't know, that they're really good or something, you know, give them a boost. That one's for you, whoever you were. And maybe SH Supersonic is also gonna take us to the cleaners. But. Would I like to go first? I think I would not. So let's do this thing on, uh, on today's discussion of things you see in the hood. I saw a limousine, a stretch Hummer limousine on the, uh, on the way back from a church event this evening. Yo. I don't feel horrible about this. Yeah, we, we don't have items, man. <laughs> All right, how many Guzzlord will we discard this time? None. I saw a stretch limousine. It's just like, it, it got me thinking like, it's crazy how, you know, limousines are like a symbol of wealth. It's just like the pa like why why is it a symbol of wealth? It's like how far you can be away from the driver. Like what? Like that's it. They took Guzma, huh? Are they thinning? What are they trying to get here? Oh, 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 I see, I see. They're just trying to get uh, the other, they're trying to get the other electro power. Gotcha, so super zap cannon. Wait, did they get two? Oh, we only have 210 health. What the, they didn't even need to do that. I thought they were playing it out so that they could, sad, sad, okay. Uh, game number three. Potentially the quickest fan favorite Friday that we've ever had in history, but uh, I'm not done talking about the limo. It was like at a kind of a, a little bit of a rundown house. So I'm like really interested in the story of the limo. Like how did that get there? Like what were the series of events that led to that person 
owning a limo and then not only just owning the limo, but like keeping it in their driveway. And it got me thinking as well, like how many other things that are symbols of wealth, like don't really mean anything or are kind of gross. Like for instance, like a lobsters. Bro, you ever thought about a lobster? It's like an ocean bug, my guy. You thought lobsters were tasty, and they are. But they're like freaking bugs, dude. Crawling around on the bottom of the ocean floor and stuff. Oh, they're little like, they're little tentacle things. I think we're actually going to get a GX attack off, and that makes me extremely excited. Um, the other one I was thinking about is like jewelry, right? Like imagine, imagine being like a, like a medieval king and it's like, oh, you're really rich. And how do I know that? Oh, cause you have. You have more shiny rocks on your head. Why should I serve you as a as a humble servant? Oh, okay. He's this guy's got the shiny rocks. I guess we better listen to this guy. You know, you're like a you're like a serf. And you know, feudal feudal England. You're like, well, I don't have any of them rocks. <laughs> Guess I'll die. Guess I'll just up and die. Um, we'll attach because it's fun. Now I could get a GX attack off, but I want to do I want to do 180. Another switch, huh? They are not gonna hit energy. There's no chance. F. We should survive. All right. So we came here to do, we, or I should say we did what we came here to do. A glutton GX. <laughs> oh, it's, it's good. It's good. All right. Do we give it one more? Or do we coronate this as the shortest fan favorite Friday video of all time? We'll give it one more. We'll give it one more. I'm not done talking about the rocks. And it's crazy, man. Like, rocks, they could be made for jewelry. You're watching this video on a bunch of rocks. That's crazy, man. Bed rock. Rock and roll. Rock and rye soda pop. Shout out to all my Midwesterners, mostly Fago fans from probably Northwest Ohio slash Michigan. All right, well, dope. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> He's done it. Don't ever tell me that I can't win with four Guzzlord GX and 56 energy. Don't ever tell me that. He's done it. One game win streak with our Guzzlord deck. That deserves another one. One more round. I'm paying. Another round, bartender. Hey, bartender. There was somebody I was talking to the other day. I can't remember who it was, but I was like really surprised that they liked country music. You guys have those friends where you're like really surprised that like, I can't believe that you of all people enjoy blank, fill in the blank. 
for me is like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I remember it was on the Wisconsin vacation. You know, uh, saying like, oh geez, this is not, I, I don't know what the, I don't know what this is doing there, but I don't like it. Um, it was on the Wisconsin vacation. The dude works at Facebook. It is I who get the mulligan. Ha <laughs> ha. The dude works at Facebook. Loves country music. Just not not the archetype that I think about, you know. All right, fiery flint too. We could again, like we could still lose is the thing. We could lose for sure. Let's go ahead and eat sloppily. Oh baby. Oh baby. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. <laughs> no welder, no welder, no welder. No greens, no greens, no greens. Oh, nuts. Okay. All right. They do have the ultra ball. Oh, well, it's nice to get our hopes up there for just a brief moment. So ultra ball, probably what? Like a Reshazar, do you think? Probably a Charizard V, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. That does 80. Okay, so they're doing 110. So as long as we can prevent them from a fire spin, then we should win the game. All right, well, Tyrannical Hole. Oh, but they could just attack twice. Oh my gosh. We did take a prize though. So I'm proud of us. Good job, Guzzlord. You are officially retired. At the very least, we got some good banter in. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll draw into a Guzzlord. But even that, I can't even bump the stadium. I just would lose. So. Oof. Oof. That's perfect math. Wow. Insano. Well, thank you guys all so much for hanging out with me today. It's really fun. I'm sorry I couldn't do better for you with our Guzzlord deck, although I will say we did get a win. And hey, a win is a win, even if it's a concession. We'll take that. We'll take that. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for Fan Favorite Friday. Happy rest of your Friday. Have a great day. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you later. Remember, good luck and also have fun. <laughs>